<laughs> okay, so as you can see, we're gathered here outside of Boner Hall. We're all wearing Save Humanities at Dundee t-shirts. We are, we've got petition, we've got like pickets, <laughs> we've got signs, all our lecturers are here, there's a great turnout, we hope something will actually happen from this. <laughs> no eggs, no buts, no education cuts, no eggs, no buts, no education cuts, no eggs, no buts, no education cuts. We've got like 940 petition signatures, we've got more our Save Humanities Facebook page has more likes than the regular Dundee Humanities page on Facebook. It's been up for four days. Um, I think it's time that the university actually listens to what we want to happen. Please. We've got an interest in defending higher education. Woo! We've got an interest in making sure that the student's experience of education isn't just one of how much you can afford to pay and isn't just one of how much the university can, to, can get out of you. I think the biggest thing for me is that there's going to be a lot of uh, talented lecturers that might actually lose their jobs. And I think in a time when there is a shortage on lecturers and teachers and stuff, they should be a priority for the university. We've got an interest in defending something called education. Because education gives liberation to people. It gives people choices and it gives people freedom and an understanding of what it's like to be in the world. So we're all fighting for something, a public good, an education that's open to all and not just those who can afford it. Education can't work just science-based or math-based. It has to be, it has to include uh, subjects which, which encourage uh, your own personal opinion, which uh, encourage creativity, free thinking. And this isn't the first time we've faced this at Dundee. This is a cycle. It's a cycle of an approach the university management have to see students as a way of just generating income. And if they can minimise the cost to the university of doing that thing called education, that's to their benefit. We have to turn their thinking on its head. Education is valuable, education is worthwhile, and education should be protected from just those who want to make money out of it. No 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 education cuts. No 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 education cuts. No don't know me who didn't have to sit through the uni elections a couple of months ago. Like I'm the new independent member of court. So on the 6th of June, when you guys are outside, I'll be inside. Mm. But it's so, so important we keep this going. Because today it's humanities. Tomorrow it's medicine. The day after it's environmental science. If we can stop them here, we won't just save humanities. We will save the whole university. Of course, this is a much wider problem there. There are uh, cuts across the university, and we are aware that the School of Humanities is really just at the forefront. There are more cuts coming in the School of Medicine and so on. Um, we understand that the university is in a difficult financial position. However, we very strongly are against compulsory redundancies. The problems the university have in the financial matter can only be resolved with all the staff who are committed to the university and to the students. How can we keep up an excellent student experience if we are cutting the numbers of staff? If we can keep this momentum going, if this is just what humanities can do, if we can build on it, talk to our friends for the rest of the uni and get them here with us, then we won't just be filling Bonner Hall steps. We're right up and down this whole fucking street. <laughs> Perth Road will be ours. So make the 6th of June that day. Yeah. Get everyone you know Get everyone you know <laughs> yeah. outside. I'll fucking open the windows <laughs> and we will make sure that not just Dundee hears us, fucking Abertail hears us. <laughs>